Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, it is my outdoor spring reveal. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on. All right, to say that this video has been a long time coming is an understatement. This video was actually supposed to go live for you guys last year, but my husband and I had ordered a bunch of new outdoor furniture and we were waiting on certain pieces to arrive, which never ended up coming. So we ended up having to not have a spring outdoor, summer outdoor video go live for you guys for that particular reason. But we have been working so hard on our outdoor space, you guys. If you have been with me for a while, we have been in our home five years and we have just now finally finished the landscaping in our backyard. We are on a little bit over a half acre of space and so with that comes a lot of landscaping. And so we have finally finished it. I'm so excited to share as we have just planted a vineyard. We have finally finished the swing area for our children to play in. All of the hillsides are completely done and we have also built out a beautiful pergola. So I'm really excited to finally share this outdoor space, this extension of my home that you guys rarely ever see. You guys will also be able to see the miniature horses in today's video. So I'm gonna just give you guys a brief overview of the things that we worked on as well as an overview of this space itself. I will do my best to link things down below. I've broken them up into two different categories. The items that we have purchased, which are a little bit more costly as we decided to bite the bullet and buy quality items for our outdoor space. But I will be linking a dupe option. So if you are wanting to achieve that same look for a little bit less money, there's gonna be that category as well. So I'm trying to accommodate both budgets. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I am doing for my outside patio coffee table. So I picked up these beautiful glass hurricanes from Anthropology. I got them in three different sizes and then I'm gonna be doing little miniature fire pits inside of them. So again, the, the glass hurricanes are from Anthropology. I then picked up some black small rocks from Michaels. This is the Ashland brand. I think these were $5 a container. So we're just gonna put those at the bottom. Next, I picked up this super fun little tabletop fire pit. This is the black version. I got this on Amazon. It's by the company Colson. Super clean, and I'm just really excited to use these. You can use these as a way to like roast s'mores. You can just use these for ambiance, but I thought these would be super cool just placing these inside the hurricane like that. And so we will see this, what this looks like outside on my coffee table at night. So one thing that I really wanted to get for my patio was a wind chime and my mom is the one that turned me on to this particular brand that you guys will see that we got at the garden store that is local to us. So this is by Music of the Spheres and so you guys are going to help me set this up but every single wind chime is just very well made and they all have a really beautiful sound so if you do want to check out this brand, I would definitely recommend going to a garden store so that way you can hear the different tones because they are all so very different, but I'm really excited to set this up. Next, I wanted to add outdoor curtain panels to our California room. I did this solely for looks, so these aren't actual functioning panels, but I needed to buy a curtain rod that is for outdoor use only. So this is from Pottery Barn, and then my husband and I ordered two page curtain panels that are specifically for outdoor use and hung them here in between the opening of our California room. A lot of you guys ask me about the miniature horses. So this is Twinkie and Butters. If you guys are new to my channel, they are miniature horses and they are always a pleasure to have graze anytime we are out and about in the backyard. So I let them have their time and they are great with my kids and great with the dog. 
Next, I wanted to give our patio a good power wash. It had been pretty dirty from landscaping that we had done recently, as well as rain that we have gotten for what seems like a month straight. So I wanted to give it a good deep clean before setting down our new patio furniture. While I was pressure washing the patio, my husband was re-sanding the fire pit bench. This is something that we do about every year just so it maintains a good appearance and that we reseal it because this is a natural wood and obviously as weather happens, they definitely uh, takes a toll. So we are resealing it, resanding it, and I had the help of my daughter Ryder for this. She loves being a part of projects and I think it's also really important to have her be a part of it to show that you know everybody has to work together in order to make things happen here. So it's very rewarding and she just absolutely loves being a part of the process. Moving on to the accessorizing of our patio, starting with the outdoor rug. We went with McGee Co. because I wanted to invest a little bit of money in a rug that was going to last longer. I definitely think investing in rugs for an outdoor space is going to be something that's going to last you longer, stand the test of time, and be able to go up against the elements. I went with this really beautiful charcoal gray and white plaid rug. And then for the outdoor furniture, we definitely splurged last year. We got most all of our furniture from our house and I absolutely love this furniture piece. I went with a two-tone, so I went with a large wicker sofa, a love seat in wicker, and then we did teak accent chairs, which you guys will see here fairly soon. And then for the coffee table, we went with RH as well as the side table from RH. Now keep in mind, this patio is 20 feet wide, so it's rather large. So every single outdoor furniture piece that I came across was really small and it would just feel very undersized and scale would be off for this space. So RH and our house offer larger pieces as well as obviously you're paying for quality. I've been incredibly impressed thus far with their pieces. And then we're just adding some accessories like these beautiful pillows. These are a pillow from Home Depot and then accessorizing with some lanterns that I purchased from Target last year and just making this feel a little bit more cozy as an outdoor space. Now I wanted to do a seating area by the swing set, that way we could watch the girls when they are up there, and I found these on Amazon. I actually talked about these in my community board. They are an RH dupe for the Marbella outdoor chair, and I've been very impressed. These were about 400, I believe, 440 a chair. Very well made, they're aluminum, and they're gonna definitely be a great addition to this space. And then I'm just accessorizing with a counterbalance of color, so bringing in those warmer tones to kind of tone down the stark and contrast of these chairs, but I really wanted kind of a juxtaposition look. Obviously we have a very garden feel with the swing set here, but then bringing in this really beautiful modern look. Now I still plan to do maybe a side table or some sort of coffee table there. That way we can enjoy, you know, drinks up there and be able to watch the kids while they play. But this is the overview of our backyard space. We are so happy with it to be finally done. We have life of our vineyard starting to grow which is super exciting to see and our horses our dogs it's just honestly everything that I really wanted for the space and to finally be able to say it is complete is just so so rewarding and I cannot wait to have more time out here and be able to enjoy it as we come into summertime and hopefully have some friends over to uh, celebrate having this space be completed
is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this outdoor spring reveal and enjoyed coming into my backyard and seeing our outdoor space as it is an extension of our home. I think I might be bringing you guys a part two as I have yet to plant my spring garden. It is still a little bit too cold to, uh, to plant spring crops. So I might be bringing you guys a second portion of that. So let me know down below for all of my green thumb people out there if you guys wanna see something like that for the future. But until the next video, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I will see you guys then. Peace.